Talking of money and funding, it looks like for one of the largest private equity firms, Temasek, microfinance is the way out to beat all the blues that they have faced in global financial institutions. India's booming microfinance segment is something Temasek is attracted to and hence the latest round of investment has gone in there. Ragni Verma has this exclusive report. Temasek's Manish Kejriwal has always been bullish about the Indian financial sector and now he's taking his interest to India's rural hinterlands. After a 10th month hiatus, Temasek is close to finalizing a fresh investment in India, this time in the microfinance space. NDTV learns that Temasek is looking to buy a 10% stake in Spandana Spurti Financial, the second largest microfinance firm, for a sum of 250 crore rupees that will take Spandana's valuation to 2,500 crore rupees. Majority of this deal will be through fresh assurance of equity of almost 7.5% and the remaining 2.5% will be diluted by low capital and existing investor. JM Financial and Avendis Capital are the financial advisors for the deal. When contacted, Temasek refused to comment, but Spandana confirmed P interest in the microfinance company, saying, We are looking at raising 250 crore rupees. There is enormous interest shown by high-valued investors like Temasek. Final decision on the shortlisted investor and valuation will be taken in the board meeting next week. Temasek's investment in Spandana is the latest evidence of private investor interest in the microfinance space. In early July this year, SKS Finance, the largest MFI in India, sealed a $10 million strategic investment from Bajaj Allianz. And reports suggest that MFIs have seen an inflow of $200 million of $1 billion in private equity money in the past 18 months in banking and financial institutions. And the reason it's an interesting area from an uh, investment perspective is that it offers both scalability and growth as well as sustainability of operations. You go out of the broader urban areas into tier 2 towns, tier 3 towns and the rural areas, there's a huge issue of penetration. And I think that is the story for microfinance. We're seeing a lot of economic activity, a lot of innate entrepreneurism at the village level, at the individual level. Rising investor interest has in fact given a fill up to the valuations of microfinance institutions. Analysts say that this may even lead some of them to seek listing to ride the wave. And despite the slowdown, this pace is expected to build up on the 100% growth it showed last year. In Mumbai with Arijit Barman, Ragini Verma for NDTV Profit.